I guess habits and hearts don't break the same. Hi, I'm Ashley with All Country News, and I'm here with Jordan Rager. So, Jordan, your debut single was Southern Boy, which featured Jason Aldean. And I feel like it's pretty rare for artists to debut with a song featuring an artist like Jason. Can you talk a little bit about what that experience was like? Me and Jason have known each other for several years before we recorded that song. Our, our families are friends and we you know known each other for a couple of years and we always used to joke about like man it'd be fun if we like did a song together one day you know but it was never at least to me it was never anything more than just like two friends bsing with each other you know and fast forward to i think it was in early 2015 I ended up signed to the same record label that Jason's on and um, I'm not there anymore, but at the time I was. And this Southern Boy song was one that I had recorded with just my vocal on it, but it just felt like it was missing something. It felt like it needed something, you know, something else. And I still to this day don't know how Jason heard it, but <laughs> he did. And he called me and was like, man, I think this is the song. I think this is the one that me and you do together. So you've been making music for a while and you've been also doing it professionally for quite some time. How do you feel like your sound and perspective just as an artist have changed since then? Oh, it's definitely grown. Um, I mean, even from my days of doing Southern Boy and, and you know, all the stuff that I did with my first label, I, I feel like I've grown just in that time frame. Um, I think it's important for artists and songwriters to evolve with themselves because I'm naturally like I'm going to get older I'm going to have more experiences I'm going to experience more things and learn more things about myself and about the world around me so I think the worst thing that an artist can do is just continue to sound the exact same all the way through their career and never do anything new and never try anything different so I'm always looking for new stuff to try and it gets me in hot water sometimes with like the hardcore country fans like I get people throwing like not country at me on the internet or whatever and I just don't care because at the end of the day, I'm making the music that I love to make, the music that I've always wanted to make. And at the end of the day, what else matters? Um, so speaking of influences, you just talked about how there's so many different genres that have influenced you as a musician. Um, and this is one of my favorite questions to ask artists we interview because everyone always has a different answer. So which artist or band is your dream collaboration? Ooh. Um, okay, so I've got a few. The first one that always comes to mind is Post Malone. Um, <laughs> I'm a massive, massive Post Malone fanboy, like massive. Um, Austin, if you're ever watching this, like, let's hang out, dude. Um, play beer pong or something. Like, let's be friends. Um, get face tattoos and everything. Um, I listen to his music probably more than anything else as far as, like, just what I turn on when I'm alone in my truck. Um, so he's definitely up there. Um, I'm a huge Ed Sheeran fan. I feel like that would be a really fun, um, a, a fun collab to try, whether it was like we were writing a song together or singing a song together, whatever. I feel like that would be really cool. Um, and then, I mean, other than that, you know, there's, I mean, I could go on all day about people I want to work with, but, um, you know, one of my, this is going to really, this will really be a curveball. This is way out of left field. Um, one of my favorite bands that I grew up listening to was A Day to Remember, which is like very like, you know, hardcore rock. Um, and I just, I love that music. So if somebody came to me with an opportunity to do a song with them, my answer would be, you know, blank yes. And <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I could say yes fast enough to that. So. It was such a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for chatting with us and we can't wait to see what you come out with next. Yes, thank you so much for having me. This has been great. I guess habits and hearts don't break the same.